Hi everyone. So recently I made a scalable notification system and in this video I am going to take you through the system design of that whole system. You can see the project demonstration on my channel or uh, I will give the link in the description as well. You can see the working of that uh, project. Let us first go through features of our notification system or requirements. So uh, the requirement was to create an API for sending notifications to our end users. This, uh, this API can be used by any external client. And the notification system supports multiple channels like email, SMS and push notifications. And uh, the code is modular so that you can add more channels easily into the system. The uh, notification system supports a dynamic priority based screen, uh, which means our, no uh, our system divides notification into three categories that is transactional, informational and promotional. Transactional being highest priority notifications and promotional being the least priority notifications, which is priority three. So uh, the requirement is to process the critical notifications before others. That is to process the transactional notification before informational and promotional and to process informational before promotional. And why is it necessary? Because we are going to make a scalable system and for that scalable system, the promotional notifications must not block the processing for transactional notifications which are high priority notifications and must be sent urgently to the end users so as to maintain the user experience. And, uh, and these are transactional, these are uh, important notifications like noti like say OTP verification notification. If the user is not able to get a OTP, how would they log into the system? So uh, these notifications are important and must be processed before a promotional notification like uh, trending out nearby, hey check out these trending out nearby, like such, such kind of notifications. Okay, yeah, I guess you got that. And the system also supports dynamic user preferences. Each user can enable or disable a channel. For example, a user wants to opt out for SMS notifications and a user may also enable or disable a category of messages on any channel. Uh, and for example, a user may choose to disable promotional notifications on email channel or a user may opt out of promotional SMS. Okay, and they want other SMS, but they opt out for promotional. They don't want any promotional SMS. So they can disable a particular category of messages on any particular channel. And the user can also set quiet hours for each channel for uh, the time in which they didn't, they don't want any kind of notifications. So the user can send the quiet hours. And the system ensures no duplicate notification is sent to the same user. Uh, the system supports templating of messages. Like there are certain templates stored in our database and the client sending the request can use these templates for drafting the messages. Uh, the system also implements rate limiting to the request we are sending to third party vendors so that we does not exceed any rate limiting of our vendors and the major requirement is to build a scalable system uh, which is designed to handle a high volume of notifications and for this system i chose asynchronous processing so that the end client uh, which is actually uh, the client sending the post request is not kept blocked during the whole processing so that was basically the requirement of a system so how would a basic notification system would look like a basic notification system must be having a notification service which takes the client request, does the processing, does the communication with the database, does the further processing and send the request to respective third party vendors like for SMS as to the SMS vendor and email to the email vendors and push notifications, WhatsApp notifications and all, the, all of them. Okay. Uh, so what's the difficulties in scaling the system? Why can't we use this particular design or this particular system, this basic system uh, to serve millions of requests? Say for a minute. Okay. Actually the problem is in the processing capabilities. Uh, say our notification service is not capable to serve that much of request per minute uh, we are dealing with say a million of requests per minute so our notification service is not capable to handle such a huge number of requests or if we have a very much good processing power here another bottleneck that comes into the system is our database actually databases are generally meant to store large amount of data and they doesn't have such high throughput like they can't handle millions of uh, read and write requests per minute because they are not meant to handle such high throughput. Throughput, uh, throughput actually means the number of requests coming in and out or we, in this case of databases we can say uh, the number of read and write requests. So databases don't have such high throughput and for that reasons our client gonna face issues like some requests are not going to be delivered or some request drops will be there and maybe our whole system crashes and a variety of problems. So how do we make sure that we can ha handle millions of notifications for scaling the system we must use a queuing system in which we can store the request so that our services can process them at, at their own pace. So this is the design for the notification system that I made and let me take you through it. The end you, the client will send a post request to our main notification service and upon receiving the request, uh, the service will blindly queue the request to our Kafka server and the part and, and uh, our notification service will pull the request, simply pull the request from this Kafka server for further processing. And uh, the particular part I'm highlighting right now is not implemented in the current code base that I am going to share. The GitHub link is in the description and uh, for the current implementation, this post notification is going to be received by our notification service directly. So uh, we are going to have controller in our not notification service only for current implementation. This can be implemented for achieving further scale tolerance so that no such uh, no request drops happens in case of high traffic periods. Okay. And what a notification service does is uh, it basically does a basic validation and uh, it assigns the priority to the received request if it doesn't have a priority by default uh, the pr assigning priority is then based on the 
template priority based on the template priority actually and uh, i have used a cache component for which i selected redis to store the template priority as a key value pair the uh, template name as key and priority as the value and if we uh, don't have the template priority on our redis we are going to fetch the priority for, from our main database and upon receiving the priority back we will store that in our redis and we'll assign that priority to the request and for further request we are going to get the priority from our uh, cache so after assigning the priority we and this notification service actually queues the request to respective Kafka topics and uh, for achieving the prioritization of messages in Kafka actually Kafka doesn't uh, give any out of the box support for prioritizing messages and uh, you have to make sure that messages are being prioritized by making your uh, consumers smart enough and uh, uh, for this case there are two ways actually to make the prioritization possible uh, make different topics for each priority or there is a bucket priority pat pattern which we will uh, find on Google very easily uh, which is used to implement the prioritization of messages okay I have implemented by making different topics for different priorities and uh, you can as you can see uh, we have three topics here priority one priority two and priority three our notification service is going to put the request in respective topics and we have uh, respective consumers which are going to process the request as per the priority okay also there is a very important point that we can scale these consumers independently we can have more consumers for our priority one which is high priority notifications so that uh, these notifications are processed at a very high rate and we can have less consumers for our priority two and priority three topics respectively so this makes our system more efficient uh, more efficient towards prioritization of messages and what these consumers does is actually these they does the main notification processing like uh, assigning message preparing assigning messages to each request from templates like preparing messages and checking user information checking user preferences whether or not we have to send the notification or not and further more processing and upon doing that processing uh, our each consumer will send the request to each specific topic on this kafka server and this server contains three topics which are based on the number of channels which we have support for and currently we have support for email topic sms current, sorry currently we have support for email sms and push notification so we have three topics for three channels and each consumer is going to put the request in respective topic say we have a request in which we want to send email sms and push notification all the three and that is a priority one notification then this consumer is going to send the respective request uh, by answering respective request is because we have different pojo for each of the topics like for email we have email attachments and email subject such kind of properties and for sms we only have phone number and as message and for push notifications we have title content action and such kind of properties so we will be having a different request for different uh, channels and here how we have achieved the prioritization is by partitioning the topic as per the priority so the priority one emails is going to come in p0 partition the priority two emails is going to come in p1 partition and priority three emails is going to come into p2 partition of our email topic here we have achieved prioritization uh, by partitioning the same topic we will see how we have implemented this partition in our consumer because uh, we have uh, different messages in different partitions but actually our consumer needs to be smart enough to pull the topics in the respective order because kafka is a pull based system so uh, after that we have our these consumers which we can also scale as per our needs if you want uh, two email consumers we can have two consumers for email because we are receiving more email requests than sms and push notifications so we can have more consumer for emails okay so that is how we can scale the system as per our needs and that is where the queue based uh, systems plays a major role in scaling the system and also uh, they act as a buffer like i already mentioned these consumers can actually process the request at their own pace and they don't have to uh, like work at the pace of the incoming request because we have high throughput system a kafka system here which will act as a buffer so these consumers will take the request based on the priority dynamically pausing and resuming the partitions so i will pause the p1 and p2 partitions and i went first consume from the p0 partition and if the p0 partition is empty then i will pause the p0 and resume the p1 partition and such that by using the dynamic uh, pausing and resuming i actually implemented this prioritization probably going to upload a video on this as well how i achieved this prioritization because i didn't find much uh, content on it as well so i might be uploading a video uh, with the code and this consumer uh, is also having rate limiting configurations so that we do not hit the third party vendors rate limits and get blocked by the vendor so that is how uh, we can achieve scalability in our notification system how is the system designed let me know your thoughts and also uh, this is the schema design there's a user entity there's a notification entity and user preferences are stored in this preferences entity and all the delivery logs are maintained here and also a separate entity which uh, is used to store the templates okay which has you can see template priority further let me discuss certain improvements which i came across while developing the system you can also check out my blog in the description about the system design i have explained the design in very detailed manner here 
okay i'm going to link the blog in the description you can, these are the uh, points that i have discussed in the blog and let us discuss potential uh, bottlenecks and scope of improvement so i mentioned that this uh, uh, system is highly scalable but a major bottleneck here could be using a single database so uh, again as we are going to scale our consumers here uh, uh, as per the requirement our database is going to be the same for all the consumers and eventually the read and write request increases for the database that is a bottleneck in this system and for that we can actually uh, do two things uh, either we can uh, use database sharding we can actually uh, do database sharding by location and that would uh, improve the performance of the system for sure or there is another option that we can uh, make the write request read and write request to the database asynchronous you can check out this particular blog you can check out this particular blog and they have very great explanation how they achieved our scalability at notification systems another bottleneck I want to mention is uh, i have not implemented any such system to track the the client request actually i have not assigned any particular id or such throughout the system in my current implementation i am talking about so you can look after it in these actually these are points which are requirement based improvements which can enhance the notification system but these are only necessary if there is requirement of them and finally you can implement a retry mechanism i have not implemented any such retry mechanism well, that was about the notification system you can check out the blog in the description to read about the working of the system in detail